Who else probably likes the way you think, Jason? Our next guest, Josie Gwynn of BYU Women's Soccer. Josie, welcome in tournament mode. Thank you. Holy cow, Louisville coming to town. Um, I, I just want to know this. Rewind to the moment at halftime. BYU is leading Boise State 2-1, to one, and things kind of slowed down. What did your coach, Jen Rock, would say to you in the locker room to spur eventually a five to one blowout. Yeah, well, she just kind of went over our stats from that game compared to all the other games and how we just needed to get some more shots off and how we are, she, we knew we were the better team and she knew and she knew that we just needed to step it up and keep going at them. So it wasn't John Legend music that you were playing <laughs> that inspired you? I wish. Just <laughs> <laughs> That's something that this team has done a remarkable job of this entire season is coming out of halftime and and if you guys have scored in bunches coming out of halftime what 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 is the mindset of this team coming into that second 45 because you guys have had so much success all year long yeah well i think we know how good of a team we are and we know how good our attack is and Honestly, when we come in at halftime and we're not super happy with our performance or haven't scored as many goals as we think we should, um, I think everyone is just that much more motivated to go out in the second half and prove to everyone that we are better. What's you? Yeah, go ahead. We're really competitive on our oh, team. So. No, I was going to go there, especially you. Yes. You yeah. are yes. very, very competitive. So, uh, yeah. you know, nice off the field, not so much on the field, but you're not supposed to be. So walk yeah. us through your mentality when you're in a heated soccer match. Well, I have been very competitive since I was born. I think my mom, you can ask her, our whole family's super competitive. And so I just, when I step on the soccer field, I have these little can do statements in my mind. Like I can beat that player. I know I can beat that player. And so when that's constantly going through my mind, I'm not gonna let anyone try, that's not gonna happen. It's just not. <laughs> you see, and, I, and I've told you this before. Uh, I, there's a reason why when I when I fill in for Greg and I'm calling some of the games, I call you the bulldog, <laughs> because you have that mentality. You are just you are not going to give an inch. So at this point, what do you guys know about Louisville? Well, I think we'll know more today because we usually go over a little scouting report the day before our games. But I think honestly, we're just ready to go out there and play the game that we've played all year long obviously what we've been doing has been working for us so uh, clearly yeah so I think it's just sticking to what we've been doing and preparing the same way we've been been preparing all year Josie Gwynn of BYU women's soccer the lone unbeaten team remaining in all the land with us on BYU Sports Nation okay how do you block out the noise of that undefeated top four team number two seed how, how, how do you handle that yeah sometimes it can it can get in your head but I think our coaches and our team as a whole has done a really good job at just taking it one game at a time. I think it started earlier in the season when we started winning a lot of our games. We just continued to focus on the next game and what we needed to do and what we needed to do to get the job done. Um, just taking it one game at a time. I think it's really important to do that, obviously. But like you're saying, there's lots of noise around our team and around BYU soccer. Largely thanks to what we do. Exactly, <laughs> you know, right? You know. so, <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, we don't, we don't want to jinx anything, but I, I do want to ask this follow-up question because it's oft overlooked. BYU is trailing 2 to nothing at Santa Clara and had to score two goals essentially late to get that tie and stay unbeaten mm -hmm. and keep yeah. the streak going. What happened in that game? What, uh, what were you thinking? What were you feeling when you're trailing two to nothing in the second half? Well, yeah, going into that game, I don't think any of us expected to get scored on like that. We knew it's it's always a tough game when we play Santa Clara, especially when we go to their place and we know they're a good team. Um, but I think, honestly, it might have been a little bit of a wake up call when they scored those goals, and then we regrouped at halftime and we came out. And I think it's just the overall mentality of the team. We we're not going to get beat. Like I said, everyone on the team is super competitive. So I think just regrouping at halftime and then coming out, we were on fire. We weren't going to lose to Santa Clara or at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to preface this question by saying we realize that the greatest moment is still to come for this season. But what is your favorite moment thus far of this season for you? Oh, I don't know. There's been a lot of really cool moments. One of the funniest moments was last game when Jamie Shepard got that header, and I thought she scored it, and so did she. So she went sprinting the other way. But 
actually cam score just yeah, got a little touch hey uh I, yeah I, I actually got that i know i was yeah. really confused when everyone ran to cam though <laughs> Who'd I, I i'd go with it but <laughs> no but honestly i think one of my favorite moments was when we beat oh either alabama or mississippi i can't remember which one where kayla scored uh, off a free kick in like the last like two minutes of the game to um win the game yeah it was the 88th minute that's yeah. right that's yeah. right yeah that it, would have been mississippi it was State. mississippi yeah yeah yep it i think it just kind of set the tone for the whole entire season i just think at that moment we were like yeah let's go like we can come in clutch i think so that's it's really awesome i think that's interesting that that a moment like that in the second game of the year like you things started to click like you guys realized in that moment that this could be a pretty special season. No, oh, yeah. I just remember being so like I've never been so excited. I've never given her the biggest hug like that before <laughs> just cuz it was such an awesome I can't breathe. Yeah, so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Josie Gwynn with us on BYU Sports Nation of fourth ranked BYU women's soccer. The Cougars ready for a second round showdown with Louisville. You can watch that game on BYU TV tomorrow night 8 Eastern. Five Pacific, listen on BYU Radio. Okay, before you go, Josie, I want to kind of zone in on your competitive nature again. In practice, who do you hate practicing against the most on your team? Oh, gosh. Well, I'll tell you who I love to be on the same team as. I love to be on the same team as Alyssa. Oh. When you're against Alyssa, it's she's so competitive. Well, everyone on the team is, but you love to have her on your team. You hate to have her not on your team. <laughs> That's just how it goes. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Okay, let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma. If you're not aware of how that works, hopefully you are. Yeah. You, you can I, ask any of your teammates. Yep. You will play better. It will happen because you okay. gave us some of your time and, and uh, joined us on the show. All right. Okay, we need you. you to sign the flag as well if you don't mind. Thank you so much. All right, Josie Thank Glenn. You, Josie. BYU Women's Soccer in the house. Coming up.